evaluate the expressions answer in degrees and radians. Notice all the expressions involve inverse tangent or arctangent, where for review has a domain of all real numbers and a range or output from negative pi over two to positive pi over two radians, not including the endpoints, which means in standard position, the output will be from zero to pi over two radians, not including pi over two, or from zero to negative pi over two radians, not including negative pi over two. On the unit circle, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, and therefore, we will have to find this quotient to evaluate the given expressions, which makes evaluating inverse tangent more challenging than evaluating inverse cosine and inverse sine. The first expression is inverse tangent of negative one. This is equal to the angle in the range or in this interval that has a tangent function value of negative one. But we should be able to recognize that y divided by x is equal to negative one when the x and y coordinates are opposites. Notice at this point on the unit circle, x is equal to y, and therefore the quotient is positive one. But at this point on the unit circle, the x and y coordinates are opposites, and therefore y divided by x is equal to negative one, which means the terminal side of the angle we are looking for must intersect the unit circle at this point. And we know the initial side must be along the positive x-axis, but the angle we are looking for is not 315 degrees or 7 fourths pi radians because that angle is not in the range of inverse tangent. We will have to rotate clockwise and therefore the angle is negative 45 degrees or in radians, negative pi over four radians or negative one fourth pi radians. Next we have inverse tangent of square root three. Before we evaluate this though, notice all the fractions on the unit circle have a denominator of two, which does make determining y divided by x much easier. Let's review this shortcut. If we have the fraction a over b divided by c over b, where both fractions have a denominator of b, we can clear the denominators from the complex fraction by multiplying both fractions by b. Once we do this, notice how b divided by b simplifies to one here as well as here. And when simplifying, we end up with just a over c, or a divided by c, which notice is just the quotient of the numerators of the fractions. So when determining y divided by x on the unit circle, we can just focus on the quotient of the numerators. So going back to our examples, let's now determine the inverse tangent of square root three. Again, we need to find the point on the unit circle where y divided by x is equal to square root three. If we focus on the numerators, notice how at this point here, y divided by x would be square root three divided by one, which is equal to square root three. This is the point on the unit circle where y divided by x is equal to square root three, which means the angle we are looking for has a terminal side that intersects the unit circle at this point. The initial side is along the positive x-axis, and therefore the angle we are looking for is 60 degrees, or in radians, pi over three radians, or one-third pi radians. But just to be sure, let's go ahead and find y divided by x. y divided by x is equal to square root three over two divided by one half. We can simplify the complex fraction by multiplying the top and bottom by two. Two divided by two simplifies to one here as well as here, showing this does equal square root three over one, which is square root three. So this does verify we have the correct angle. Next, we have inverse tangent of negative square root three divided by three. Sometimes it is helpful to rationalize the numerator of the given tangent function value in order to recognize the point on the unit circle. So for this example, let's rationalize the numerator. We have negative square root three over three. Let's rationalize the numerator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the square root of three. This gives us negative three over three square root three but three divided by three simplifies to one, giving us negative one divided by square root of three. So we can write inverse tangent of negative square root of three divided by three as inverse tangent of negative one over square root of three, which in this form should make it easier to recognize the point on the inner circle we are looking for.
you need to find the point where y divided by x is equal to negative one divided by square root three. We know it's going to be in the fourth quadrant. Focusing on the quotient of the numerators, notice out here y divided by x is going to be negative one over square root three. And therefore this is the point we are looking for on the unit circle. The terminal side of the angle must intersect the unit circle at this point. The initial side will be along the positive x-axis. We need to rotate clockwise. The angle is negative 30 degrees, or in radians, negative pi over 6 radians, or negative 1 sixth pi radians. Again, if we need to, we can verify y divided by x. That's equal to negative 1 half divided by square root 3 over 2. To simplify, we can multiply the top and bottom by 2. Simplifying, 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1 here and here, which does give us negative 1 over square root 3. Now, if we wanted to get this value here, we would have to rationalize the denominator. Let's also show that. We would multiply the top and bottom by square root 3 which does give us a negative square root three over three. But you can see why it was helpful to rationalize the numerator here, because it did make it much easier to recognize the correct point on the unit circle. For the last expression, we have inverse tangent of zero. We now look for the point on the unit circle where y divided by x is equal to zero, which is this point here. y divided by x is zero divided by one, which is zero. The terminal side of the angle must intersect the unit circle at this point, which is the same side as the initial side, and therefore the angle is zero degrees or zero radians. I hope you found this helpful.